multiplying decimals by 10, 100, 1,000, and 1 tenth, 100, and 1,000. Multiplying decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000, and also 1 tenth, 100, and 1,000 may not go anymore in a long process. You can multiply decimals by these numbers and decimals by observing the decimal place of numbers as well as the location of decimal point. The movement of the decimal point from right to left or left to right will help you make the multiplication faster and easier. Take note that in 6 and 75 hundredths times 10, 6 and 75 hundredths is called multiplicand. It is the number to be multiplied. 10 is called multiplier. It is the number by which it is multiplied. Multiplicand and multiplier are also known as factors. The answer in the multiplication is called product. Multiplying decimals by 10. Example 1. 8 tenths times 10. Since the multiplier 10 has only one zero, move also the decimal point in the multiplicand one place to the right and put the decimal point after 8. So the answer is 8. 8 is a whole number, so you may omit the zero before the number since it has no value. In the second example, 75 hundredths times 10, since the multiplier 10 has only one zero, move also the decimal point in the multiplicand one place to the right and put the decimal point between 7 and 5. So the answer is 7 and 5 tenths. You may omit the zero at the beginning of decimals since it has no value. In example 3, 9 and 394 thousands times 10, since 10 in the multiplier has one zero, move the decimal point in the multiplicand one place to the right and put the decimal point between 3 and 9. So the answer is 93 and 94 hundredths. Multiplying decimals by 100. Example 1. 8 tenths times 100. The multiplier 100 has two zeros. Move the decimal point of the multiplicand 8 two places to the right and put 0 as the placeholder in the vacant space. And put the decimal point after 0. So the answer is 80. 80 is a whole number, so you may omit the zero before the number since it has no value. In example 2, 75 hundredths times 100, the multiplier 100 has two zeros. So you will just move the decimal point of the multiplicand two places to the right and put the decimal point after the number. So the answer is 75. 75 is a whole number, so you may omit the zero before the whole number since it has no value. In example 3, 9 and 394 thousands times 100, the multiplier 100 has two zeros. So you will move the decimal point in multiplicand two places to the right and put the decimal point between 9 and 4. So the answer is 939 and 4 tenths. Multiplying decimals by 1,000. Example 1, 8 tenths times 1,000. The multiplier 1,000 has three zeros. So you will just move the decimal point in the multiplicand three places to the right and put zeros as placeholder. After this, put the decimal point after the number. So the answer is 800. 
800 is a whole number, so you may omit the zero before the number since it has no value. In example 2, 7500 times 1000, the multiplier 1000 has three zeros. So you will just move the decimal point in the multiplicand three places to the right and put zero as placeholder in the vacant space. Put the decimal point afterwards. So the answer is 750. 750 is a whole number, so you may omit the zero before the number since zero has no value. In example 3, 9 and 394,000 times 1,000, the multiplier 1,000 has three zeros. So you will just move the decimal point in the multiplicand three places to the right and put the decimal point. So the answer is 9,394. When multiplying decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000, move the decimal point of the multiplicand to the right as many times as the number of zero or zeros in the multiplier. Then put the decimal point. Use zero as placeholder in the answer. Multiplying decimals by one ten. Example 1, 8 tenths times 1 tenth. The multiplier 1 tenth has one decimal place, so you will just move the decimal point in the multiplicand one place to the left and put the decimal point. So the answer is 8 hundredths. In example 2, 75 hundredths times 1 tenth, again, one tenth has only one decimal place, so you will just move the decimal point in the multiplicand one place to the left and put the decimal point. So the answer is 75 thousandths. In example 3, 9 and 394 thousandths times one tenth, one tenth has one decimal place, so you will just move the decimal point in the multiplicand one place to the left and put the decimal point. So the answer is 9,394 ten thousands. Multiplying decimals by one hundred. Example one, eight tenths times one hundred. Since the multiplier 100 has two decimal places, move the decimal point in the multiplicand two places to the left and fill in the vacant space with a placeholder zero. Then put the decimal point. So the answer is eight thousands. In example two, 75 hundredths times 100, again, the multiplier 100 has two decimal places. So you will just move the decimal point in the multiplicand two places to the left and fill in the vacant space with a placeholder zero. Put the decimal point afterwards. So the answer is 75 ten thousands. In example three, 9 and 394 thousands times 100. The multiplier 100 has two decimal places. So you will move the decimal point in the multiplicand two places to the left and fill in the vacant space with the placeholder zero and put the decimal point. So the answer is 9,394 hundred thousands. Multiplying decimals by one thousand. Example one, eight tenths times one thousand. The multiplier one thousand has three decimal places. And so 
move the decimal point in the multiplicand three places to the left and fill in the vacant spaces with the placeholder zeros and put the decimal point. So the answer is eight ten thousands. In example two, 75 hundredths times 1,000, again, the multiplier 1,000 has three decimal places. And so, move the decimal point in the multiplicand three places to the left and fill in the vacant space with the placeholder zeros. Then put the decimal point. So the answer is 75 hundred thousands. In example 3, 9 and 394 thousands times 1,000, the multiplier 1,000 has three decimal places. So move the decimal point in the multiplicand three places to the left and fill in the vacant spaces with the placeholder zeros and put the decimal point afterwards. So the answer is... 9,394 millions. When multiplying decimals by one tenth, one hundred, and one thousand, move the decimal point of the multiplicand to the left as many times as the number of decimal place in multiplier. Then put the decimal point. Use zero as placeholder in the answer. 